Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're back in Scotland and Patterton. What are we doing today? A little bit of uh, reservoir work. As you can see, the uh, Patterton area has had a little bit of a tweak. I have been preparing the area and doing a few outline sketches, ready to detail it up a little bit today at least the first draft anyway and hopefully get towards some of the countryside being filled in which will give us a nice bit of scenery to look at as we uh, take the long train journey to Nilston. as always thank you for those of you in the comments that have been helping out very much appreciated uh, we do have a new mod or two to look at Probably later on in the series, one of them's a uh, a multi-story car park, which is wonderful because there's quite a few of those that we've got to put in around some of our stations, and that will help. Uh, that'll help out no end. As anyone who knows and has attempted to build their own multi-story car park with whichever mods you use, they're not easy. So that will be wonderful. Anyway. What do you reckon? It's starting to come together, isn't it? This is the area. These houses, they are three-storey, but they are not very square. This is the closest I could really find. They kind of do the job. We have a bit of a road network going on out here at Patterton. So down here, we're going to have an AI town, and it's going to be Newton Mearns. Now, on Google Maps... There's another one uh, that's listed here, and it's it's a tough one to pronounce. In fact, let's have a quick look at the map. There we go. It's just down there in the corner. Mallet shoe? I don't think that's correct, but I'll I'll go with it. Yeah, I'm not sure what area that is, because not far from here, I'll just highlight it, is Newton Mearns, which is there. And, and then you've got, if you zoom in a little bit, Patterton up here. But looking at the area, it is mostly residential. We could lean heavily with Newton Mearns over here as a big residential area. It's actually massive around here, isn't it? There's White Craigs as well. Not knowing the area makes it tough to know exactly what the suburbs are. Is this all Newton Mearns? Maybe. Well, there's Clarkston as well, isn't there? Up there. It seems to be expanding quite rapidly. All this farmland seems to be uh, not there anymore. And is possibly housing. Is it already there? Yes, it's already there. Wow. So we're in farmland at the moment. Which is the image here. But it is now... It is now a huge housing estate. There we go. Uh, so none of this is farmland any longer. Uh, although it's probably a little far away for us. I don't know. Let's get back in game. Yeah, I'm not sure whether we need to worry about. I guess we could. We've got a bit of room down here. We could make it a mixed area, possibly. Just to give the map a bit of life. Although I like having areas that are mainly residential and then we keep out like we have over here our industry over this way and then they've always got to travel haven't they to the industrial areas which sort of forces them either onto our trains and buses or onto our road network which is slowly coming together i mean currently it's not connected i do have a little bit of a a motorway happening here the m77 what you can see here is my sort of pencil outline this where the forest floor is trees field separators and more trees there and uh, yes here i've outlined the reservoir but there's still some work to do i haven't terraformed it all i've kind of done this one so we can make a start on that and I, I was messing around with trying to get the, uh, the little spillway done into the next reservoir. Probably leave it there. What we'll do is we'll make it go into a tunnel. 
Um, UI, really. I forgot to put it up. There we go. It's up now. What I'd like to do once the train passes us, it should be on its way. There it is. That is perfect timing. I couldn't have timed that better, really. Because before we get going, I'd like to duplicate this and or enter another service on and get that going. Here's the uh, park and ride's going to be here and here. So we might have a go at that today, depending on how we do with the reservoir thingy that we've got to do. There won't be many people getting on and off just here. Yeah, there we go. They're getting off just there and going into those buildings, no doubt. I don't know if it reaches up here. Oh, it does. Yeah, there we go. I can't remember if I put people in these either. Did I? Yes, six people in those. It's a nice little area. This is kind of representative of what's here. I do like it. I mean, it adds to the scenery, doesn't it? As you're driving up here in the train. Anyway, now this train's gone, we can uh, duplicate him. Manage vehicle. Let's get another one on there. Hopefully he finds his way. There we go. He's on. Is he heading to... Where are you going? There you go. Are you heading to... Glasgow? Yeah, you are. Perfect. Yeah, by the time he makes his way to Glasgow Central... The other one should be just reaching Neilston. Hey, the turn back sort of worked, didn't it? I think we should uh, have this section a bit slower, though, while I remember. I'm going to go with 10. Might as well. We'll put that there. That way we're not scooting up and down. Well, this seems to work, though. I do like it. And we could hold it up here as well. That might not be a bad idea, like we do at uh, the other place. Which I've forgotten the name of. Newton? Is it Newton? Yes, Newton. Oh, we're going to have a Newton Mears, aren't we? As well. Yes. But not anywhere close. Manage line. Where's... It wants to be the one where we turn... After we turn round. So this one. If we hold you up for 60 seconds. That should be the same, shouldn't it? As what we've got. At Newton here. Let's take that. That's very busy, isn't it? Goodness me. That's wonderful. Oh, here comes the train. How long do you wait at Newton? Let's see. Yes, yeah, 60 seconds. Perfect. There we go. He's going to come in. We could really do with uh, a little waypoint here. Couldn't we? Uh, how are we going to manage that? Because it's going to end up being a signal. We don't really have any good waypoints. No, we've only got these. Uh, well, I guess we could just put this in. And then on the way in, we can send it via there instead. It's not really going to be used for crossing over. Although it could be used, couldn't it, to go across there. So, yes, it could make sense need to add a station and go in like that so we don't cross over with this service. And we'll have to do the same with this one as well. After Kirkhill, go via there. There we go. Keeps this line nice and clear. Whether that actually happens, I'm not sure, but it'll do, wouldn't it? There we go. I like that. Hopefully that doesn't cause an issue with... Uh, any trains coming in here? It shouldn't do, I don't think. We'll see, won't we? If it trips over, then we'll sort it out. Right then. Detailing, guys. A little bit of tidying up done. I'm going to experiment, which is why this one has the uh, riverbed in already. If we go into assets, I would like to give these a try. Yes. What do we want? I would like this... Yeah, that kind of works. It's very bright and blue. That's too light. I, I like this dark one. We don't want it too wavy. It would be a little wavy, wouldn't it? Because it's uh, it will probably be windy. How big are you? If we lift you above, we can get a rough idea, can't we? It doesn't really need to be that wide either, does it? 
probably get away with you being a little... Oh, that's length. Okay, that's better, yes. There. Let's see how that goes. Lower you down. Into place. Oh, we've got a bit of an issue up there, but we can probably hide it. Get you in. I know we've got a little bit of water showing. Where is it? Just here. If we get our terrain tools... There we go. And we do a little bit of early official episode. That should be good, shouldn't it? Perfect. Now this needs tidying up anyway. I have adjusted the uh, the track here. It was doing some silly things. There we go. There goes our train. We'll have two of these running now. So that's wonderful news. Right. Let's go back to the map. Here we are. This is what we're going to be working on today. And we're going to try and get this done, possibly similar to how we just put that other one in. So yes, that's the plan, guys. We're going to try and get it looking the part, and then we can drive past again and see if it looks any better. So we've got some uh, terraforming to do first, and we're going to flatten it all out up to this level here. And we want to get the rough shape, don't we? The road's in to help me out a little bit. Uh, I guess we can get a circle and make it a little bit bigger, can't we? There we go, it'll speed things up. And it is heading all the way out here as well. All the way to the edge there. And then what we'll do is we'll paint it with a riverbed. Now, I would like to uh, not have it as aggressive around here. Because we uh, need a little bit of an embankment. Except for there. Well, that's looking better already, isn't it? Yeah, wonderful. There we go. Get you all nice and smooth. Perfect. Right. And then we can put this a little larger. Give it a bit of an edge. Uh, what are we doing up here? There's a, there's a bit of a... A sticky out bit. Is that a technical term? So it would do this. Go across there. And then will there be a, a thing coming out here? A jetty? No. I don't know what you'd call it. But one of those sticking out like that. And that should be fine for up here, I think. Oh. Yeah. That should be fine for there. That needs to go in to either side. I guess we could give it a nice edge like that. We could always paint it, couldn't we? Yeah. We need to somehow smooth this without ruining our edge. Which is always tricky. That doesn't need to be up like that, does it? There we go. Lovely. Yeah, and we're going to flatten around here because we are going to have a hill. However, it's not supposed to be that aggressive. But we will have a nice hill over there so we're not completely getting rid of it it's definitely not a cliff face is it there we go bring you all the way out there once we've uh, taken it back far enough we can start to smooth it out and create our hill again oh, we don't want to go too far down do we we've got a hovering bear oh no he's landed the bear has landed there we go, that's nice. It's going to be better once we've uh, once we've got the old smoothing tool on it. I'm just going to do that nice and rough. It looks like a mountain range at the moment. That's not how it's going to look. We're going to get up to the actual terrain height at some point. Right, you go in there. Just rough on this because we want it quite hilly. There we go, yes, like that. Now we can grab hold of this, stick this up to max, and just get our hill back, but further away from the road there, and not as aggressive. We may need to do the reservoir again, but that's fine. Only up this end. Yeah, that's better. And now we've got our hill back, guys. Without the cliff face, it wasn't looking great, was it, with the cliff face there? There we go, we've still got our kind of reservoir bit. This could go down a little lower then. Let's bring that all the way down like that. There we go. And then we'll redo the uh, reservoir -y bit over there. Perfect. 
All right, let's get this. We'll just go in. Now I'm happy with it. And then we've got the fun task of trying to make that work. Uh, yes. With our paint tools and that, uh, that fantastic water mod that we've got down just here. Let's get the uh, bed in. If you don't put the bed in, we'll obviously have grass under there. And we're just going to paint this all in here for the riverbed. We can tidy up the edges once we're done. Right, can we make this work? I guess the best thing to do would be to see what that is on maximum. Now, as long as we get it the right height, we should be able to fill in everywhere. We do want it quite close to the bank, don't we? It's very full, this one. If we put that in there, is beige nice? It sort of works, doesn't it, for this one? Is that flickering bad? It is, isn't it? Can we get you... It should be the same height, really. How's that look? Well, I don't like the flickering. That's a shame. Yeah, this is going to be near impossible to line up. I think our safest bet is probably to colour all that in. Just because lining it up is probably not worth it, given that we won't see it the most. So if we try with water instead and then we can go with the kind of color water that we want which would be a a fairly small wave greenish blue it'd be a lot of, oh goodness me it'll be uh that one yes you see that's kind of nice i think it's a darker blue uh what about that one no we need like a a real dark that one Ooh, I kind of like that one. What about this one? That's way too bright. Yeah, we're we're heading in the right direction though. I I kind of like the grey, dark grey with low. Yeah, I prefer this. It's much easier to uh, manage. There's a bear walking across though. That's the only problem. Although that would happen regardless, wouldn't it? And foxes, they're all going swimming. I don't think you can really stop them doing that. This is the only issue when you're painting water in. It's a lot harder to get the edges right. Right, grass. Well, no, we should do the deletey thing, shouldn't we? And then we can get it all along here quite nicely. Yes, am I happier with that? I think I am. Except for the water walking wildlife. But other than that, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. Beautiful. Done. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, because from here, it looks absolutely marvellous. I am happy. We've got it in, guys. It doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, we've got a bit of, uh, probably a little bit of bush work to do. Which means we'd have to colour it in. So, what was... Th oh, I can't remember what we had. I think it was dark grey low. There we go. Yes, it is. Right, how can we get this... Uh, these bushes in? I think that has to be a case for Forrester, doesn't it? Ooh. Do you know, after getting that in, I think we should save it. It does look the part... For that i mean there's a few glary bits but oh yeah i like this for the smaller ones the actual texture what do we got here nothing to see you're just strolling through it's nice out here mr stag oh i love that where you can see the uh, track going by we will see a bit over here won't we of what's going on over there as well, including the viaduct. Depends how much we uh, hide it with trees. Let's see if we can't fill in some of this area with some uh, forest. That'll be a really nice and I'm going to say fairly quick bit of detailing that we can do. We're going to use Forester here. Go over where I've marked out for these trees. We don't want it too close to the edge. 80 seems a bit low, doesn't it? 
I don't know what that means. How many is that? Oh, that's nice. Yes. That works. What are those? I don't know. 80 does kind of work, doesn't it? And because we could... Well, I would say a bit more than 80 for next time. Well, let's try with this section. Right, 120. Uh, what are those? Are those the oaks? I think they are, aren't they? Where's the oaks? Or are those the oaks? Those might be the oaks. Uh, it doesn't say when you hover over them, unfortunately. Which ones are the oaks? I think it's those. Put those in. Are those the oaks? Yes. So, a little bit more than that, possibly. It's a little bit sparse, isn't it? I mean, we could go over it again with different stuff. I haven't decided yet, uh, but it's definitely these, isn't it? That's the oak. Got to remember the picture. I didn't see any lindens in there. There might have been. Once we know uh, the best setting for us on this map, we just have to remember it, don't we? There we go. I know we can mix it up a bit with different trees, which might be an idea out here. Let's go 200. Ah, 200. There we go. Got it. Right. So 200 for those oaks. We can do the same with the, the little common hazel. Perfect. Yes, that gives it a, a nice bit of bushiness, doesn't it? And then I guess what we could do is manually place some of these in. I think the maple is a good one. Paint. Uh, we don't want to skip collision. Oh dear, oh dear, that's way too many. Oh dear, can you just go like that? There we go. We'll paint them in like this. That might work. Yes, make that a little smaller. No, no, not over there. I think it would just be easier to try. That's nice, though. It'd be easier just trying to do them singular, wouldn't it? Like that, yes. Anywhere we can squeeze one in, in the middle. How does it look from a distance? It doesn't look too bad, does it? I like it. Now, we could put uh, bushes in using the same technique as we just did over there. However, I feel like I might draw them like this along there. It's a real shame it doesn't work like uh, Transport Fever 1. Because that's the smallest we can go. And they don't stay in a line very well. Well, okay. Prove me wrong. Maybe if we uh, turn off Skip Collision, are you going to work? Maybe they've fixed it. Okay. I mean, it takes a while. It's too thick, though, isn't it? Really. I don't know whether deleting them. Well, yes. It's not pleasant, but certainly a way to do it. Draw the line down here and then delete back. It's so unresponsive. When you used to do it in Transport Fever 1... It was just instant when you were laying it down. But perhaps with the delete method? No, it's just horrible. I don't like it. I'm not happy with that at all. No, that's well. I say that. It's not too bad, is it? With the delete. Yeah, it's just clumsy. I would just like it to be easy. It kind of looks like it should uh, from a distance. So possibly, possibly. I guess we can get away with it, guys. They're just a bit scattery. What I would like is if when you use this one and you held it down, why can't you draw singular? That would be fine. Can't do it, though. So might as well go back to this. It's the only gripe, really, I have with the... Well, OK, I've got a couple of gripes with Transport Fever. As far as gripes go and things that have changed for the worse um, compared to transport fever one this is one of them there's no, there's not much though there's not much i don't know why does zooming in help not really no it's just as unresponsive i mean if you zoom in too far then you can't see what you're really doing can you 
Zooming out, does that do it better? Not really. I think we're getting the gist of it though, right? And then you just tidy it up. This delete tool is a little bit aggressive as well. We're getting there. It's tidy. As long as we can make the line. Yes, I think at a distance. You don't have to worry too much about it, do you? And then you can just fill in all the gaps. Do you know what? I think I take it back. It's turned out okay. It's just not as free-flowing. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? So that's the way I'm going to do it, I think, from now on. And then go in and fill the missing bits. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot trickier than usual. I mean, something that you would have on uh, some of these would be the odd tree, wouldn't you? Probably in the corners here. And at the ends. There we go. Yeah, just dotted around. Did we have better trees in Transport Fever 1? I feel like we're missing the odd tree. Like the big bushy ones that were quite small. I mean, these are alright, I guess. We could put those in there. They get a bit monstrous, these ones, but depending on which one it gives you, you can decide whether you want it at the edges or in the in the corners or at the ends, like that. Yeah, this one would be better in somewhere like there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Right, and then we can uh, we can definitely fill in this area. Right, and we wanted it on 240. Right, we don't want it on that though. I'd like it on the that's the oak, is that's the oak. How's that? Yes, there we go. Right. Lovely. And then we can do it again. There we go, like that. And we'll get the not those. We'll get these and drop that down. And just put those in. Oh dear, way too many. Way too many. Although Ooh, I kinda like it. Yes, they're just monstrous, aren't they? Although it kind of works for there. Yeah, I'm sort of happy with it. I think we'll accept that. Yes. I don't want those in too many places, though. They're just too big, aren't they? Way too big. I guess we could get rid of some. The odd one. And... Oh, I put the wrong ones in there, though, didn't I? We're supposed to have these. Uh, I'll probably just put them in manually now if we get our paint tools and go over it with our usual trick here drop that down and get that a little bit bigger we'll find our vegetation additional vegetation tall weeds if we fill these in a little bit well we've got a whole shift haven't we because we've got like a lot of forest floor going on yeah, there we go. Better. We can always go over it again with uh, dark grass. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. It just fills it in a little bit, doesn't it? Especially for cab rides. At the moment, we're, we're doing bird's eye view. Not the ideal way to look at your work. Right, then if we just get the dark grass, this one. And it should take away some of the weeds and stuff and just break it up a little bit there we go how's that looking not bad and of course we want to uh, go along the edge don't we can i remember where that is coal i love how it's only coal that we've got and not iron nothing else just coal it's it's interesting why we don't have iron is that iron in the game i believe there is i would like not ballast i would like that dirt Take that up and we'll just fill in the edges a little bit along the edge. There we go. Just get it away from the track there. All the grass and the weeds. Now this is important. Fine detail, but definitely important detail. We're along the track side here. Mixes it up a little bit, doesn't it? It gives us a little bit of breathing space alongside the track there. Yeah, so detailed side. It's almost starting to look the part. Partially detailed. We still need... Uh, oh, do you know what's uh, 
needs to be done here. A little bit of weeding. What are you going to be under? Ballast? No. That one? Ballast, yes. Rocks. Let's weed uh, in the middle here. There we go. Lovely. Make it feel like it's actually used. Okay. I've gone from being not overly impressed with my own work to it starting to take shape. Yes, this is starting to look like countryside and fields. I wanted to do it with you today so that uh, I've got a rough idea of how I'm going to do all of the this area. And it'll take a bit of time, but I think we can uh, get it looking spot on. Now, there is a bit down here as well. Let's get our paint. Where's our dirt? Dirt. We draw out where we want the rest of the trees. I'm going to say down here and then branch off like that. Uh, anybody found a good way of doing a forest thing? There's the fence one, but it's it's just too much. It's this one here. I feel like this is not really right. It suits some areas, but for most of it, unfortunately, the best way and only way I've found to do it is using this with the overly zealous brush. I know, I'm never going to be happy. It's because I've lost my favorite way of doing it there we go well that kind of works doesn't it suck it up grand it's just gonna take time i mean considering the more you do of this out in the countryside the less housing there is and the better performance will be so it's probably worth the time and effort to uh, get it looking beautiful there we go and we'll have that along the road here some bushes this can be quite thick along the side and then uh, single brush we'll get a few trees along the road and a few along here Just adds to it find any gaps yes because it's going to be mainly from the distance that doesn't look too bad right we need some color in this don't we we do not want forest well do we i was going to say we don't want forest floor I'm not sure what it looks like. It kind of looks like field. Or certain types of field. Possibly. What grass do we have? We do have the brown grass. Which I'd prefer up this end. Because we've still got this reservoir to go. Although, grass and grab... No, that's too bright, isn't it? Yeah, way too bright. It might be useful over here. Yeah, because this one... If we fill this all in... Uh, this is going to be slightly different. It's going to be partially filled. So if we just get the shape of it, uh, what we need is for this bit to go around there. So we'll delete that. Something like that. Should be good enough. And then we can bring that up. There we go. Get you up there. And we'll get our terrain and just bring this little edge up here. Beautiful. There we go. I like it. Do we have like a brown? Is that too brown? I'm going to go still. That's way too brown. It's not quite like that. I mean, it's almost like that. It just needs to be a little bit darker, really. Well, there's that one as well. Maybe. It's unfortunate because it's somewhere between that and, and this one up here, the dark one. If we just bring that down a little bit more just where the water is so it looks like it's definitely sloping i guess it depends how it looks once we're uh, on the track side is this is too much effort i think what other paint tools do we have we have dirt as well could we like mix in the dirt a little bit with the uh, brown grass sort of bring that right down Yes. Around the edges. Alright, I think we got it, guys. There we go. Yeah, that works out a lot better, doesn't it? Bit of dirt around there, and then the, the grass as well. That way we can fill in the, the sides of the water there. What we need now is some trees along this edge. Let's see if we can't 
fill this in nicely. It kind of gives it an outline, doesn't it? I'm a little bit concerned about the bushes along here, though, because there are some. And it's going to start painting over our, our lovely reservoir. But I guess I can work on that a little bit. How's that looking? Better. I think we need a, some fence or something down here, don't we? If we were ever going down here, it would be scary. I've still not decided what uh, what we want on here for our fields. Forest floor is what we were testing. I kind of like that one for at least one field. If we do this big field, something like this. It's nice, isn't it? It's definitely something different. We could have darker grass. I don't know what we've got in here, to be fair. Uh, if we take off everything. Lavender. Barley. What's this one? What is that? No. I don't know what it is, but not that. Buttercups. Dandelions. Tall grass. Ooh, what's that? Goodness me, I mean, you're beautiful. Dark green? Ooh, dark green's kind of nice. What's this one? Two dark greens? What's the difference? Who knows? Yeah, some of it dark green. Should be nice. We need to hold shift, though. We need to get that right up the edge there. We're probably going to put a farmhouse near here as well somewhere. Uh, there we go. Yes. That's better, isn't it? Absolutely. Brown, I sort of like for around here, but it's that colour. I need something a little in between. There, there is these hops. Hops large. Ooh, smooth soil. What's this one? Guys. I mean, that kind of works. It's almost like sand, isn't it? Like that. It's probably a little closer to how it is. It'll take a little bit of work, but I think uh, that makes me happy. In places, anyway. How does that look? Oh, that's better. Oh, that's much better. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, a bit of dirt. bit of that stuff. Right, okay. I mean, we could have plowed, but not keen on it. I do like the, the soil, but now we're using it as sand. It doesn't make much sense out here, does it? What else have we got? Forest ground we've got. Oh, Alpine. Yes, that's a lot like what it is out here. Okay. Well, you know what that could be. We could have that as a bit of... Where's my dirt? Where's my dirt? We could drive off that way. And then the other one comes through here sort of thing. We we'll definitely need some sort of fence down here, which we can do. What colour forest floor down here? Then that's that's an easy one, isn't it? Yes, we need some... Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can find some tractors and stuff. But how's that look? I know that was a lot of effort. Just for a drive-by. A drive-by? A cab ride. But... Ooh, I like it. I like that now. Especially from a distance. I think we'll probably do something similar heading down here. Yeah. I mean, it probably needs some coal just to darken it. I just don't know how that will look. Guys, what do you reckon? This is kind of the area where we're going for, like the farmy land. Uh, it doesn't matter if we've got normal grass in there. I mean, we could go with some darker grass possibly in here i could do this all week which i'm probably gonna do yeah i can see me going around doing more of that i sort of like this i'll probably calm it down a little bit and for distant scenery those big trees probably do the job don't they i mean it's gonna hide a lot except for when you come by yeah Probably bigger fields as well. That would help. But overall... I mean, there's a lot going on there. We are condensed, of course. There's that glare. Yeah, guys, we'll take a little cab ride past there. 
We're on board our Nilston service, one of them anyway, heading to Muir End. And we'll get to see how, oh in fact you can see the trees and stuff in the background. Yeah, I have my work cut out for me, don't I, in the distance. However, anything that's not trackside, I think we can do much bigger fields and much bigger clumps of trees where they're supposed to be. But that does look like a bit of scenery in the background. I like it. I'm definitely happy with it. We need some darker trees, don't we? I think that's the problem. They're all a bit bright and cheerful. But it's all right. I'm happy. It's getting there. I think I'll be happier once I've got more of the fieldy type areas and I've got to really figure out a nice way to do bushes. I might try for the distance work, the fence tool. I don't know how visible it would be, so I don't think it really matters, does it, for stuff far out in the distance. So I'll go ahead. I'll do some more fields. When we come back, we'll be... A bit of park and ride possibly and maybe get a couple of towns up and running ai towns that are going to fill in the gaps for us start to liven up the uh, streets so i'll need to connect them up with uh, some main roads but anyway thank you for watching guys bit of a different one today but a good experiment and good testing still a lot of terrain work to do around here however where we're where we are heading put your teeth in man we uh we've started to do that so we'll be able to see the difference between here and where we've done a lot of work today all right thank you for watching and until next time take care <laughs>